Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, as we see, we have Mr. Yusuf. He is a Jewish man. Uh, he is a nice gentleman. And uh, the Muslims, they send him a letter uh, saying to him why you should not reject Islam. So he was responding to that. But before we should see what is the letter about, let us listen to him reading the letter he received from Muslims for why he should not reject Islam. But for the sake of uh, briefness and clarity and organization, I am going to limit it to four fundamental reasons. Don't jump to conclusions. You shouldn't reject Islam because of the actions of those who claim to follow this religion. For with you should not reject Islam because of the action of Muslims. So the Muslims, they knew that Muslims, they have a very bad action. And here we ask ourselves, okay, why the Muslims, they have a bad action? If Islam is the guidance and Islam is the one who will make you better. So Muslims have a very bad behave, but Islam is good. It doesn't make sense. I live in a clean house, but I'm dirty? It doesn't make sense. Let us see what else. For with all religions and philosophies, one can find not so friendly individuals. Not so friendly individual? Not so friendly individual? Like the one billion Muslim who they are not a friendly, those are individual? Like those millions who went in the street, they want to kill Salman Rushdie for writing a book. They are individual. Those who went crazy and they want to kill everybody, including the Pope of Rome. They are individual. Those who destroy cars by thousands and burn houses everywhere for the cartoon, they are individual. Oh, okay. It sounds like individual in Islam have a different numbers, different figures, good to know, they are individuals, I understand. Whether it is atheism, deists, pagans, Abrahamic religions, or otherwise. One shouldn't reject Islam because you are not comfortable with its teaching. Or be oh, you should not reject Islam because you are not comfortable with the teaching of Islam. Why a human being should not be comfortable with the teaching of Islam? Isn't that a good question? The Muslims agreed that you will not be comfortable with the religion of Islam. Is that mean because when I convert to Islam, I will lose my dignity? I will feel like I'm a thief? I will feel like I'm a pervert? I will feel like I am a mental? I will feel I'm, I'm nothing but just a piece of meat who hate everyone around, who is not a Muslim like me? When you convert to Islam right away, you will turn to be an angry hate machine. You hate everybody. You are angry from everything. And then they say to us, you should not reject Islam for not being comfortable. So they agreed Islam will not make you comfortable. Because you will be struggling with yourself as a human. Because even the one who don't have religion, God, he put in his heart to know what is right what is wrong so you will know you are wrong when you are a muslim so you will not be comfortable because you feel it would require too big of a change in your lifestyle it's not a matter of whether a particular teaching or commandment finds favor in their eyes it's a matter of whether or not they are the decrees of the creator the absolute authority it's yeah like you know what some commandment maybe you don't like in islam but you know what this is allah order that's it he knew better like when Allah, he says, you beat your wife, do you know more than Allah? Beat your wife, so what? Allah says, so you do it. When Allah, he says, you can have sex with a woman, she is married, just because she is a Christian woman, you can nab her from her husband. Uh, don't worry about it, you know? Don't feel guilty, it's Allah order. As chapter 4, verse 24. When the Quran says to us in the same verse, that you can rent women for sex, and just pay them money and it's halal uh, you know don't don't feel guilty because it's against your nature it is halal 
So maybe those you know orders they are not really nice for you, but it's Allah order. Just accept it. Don't think about it, because thinking and believing in Islam they don't match. The easy way always the right way. Good question. Is the easy way always the right way? And then I ask myself, isn't it Islam is the most easy religion ever exist? What do you want more easy than you don't even pray to God? You repeat yourself and you say, you know what? Uh, I am praying to Allah, but I'm repeating the same words I said yesterday and the same words I said next the, the week before and the same words I said 1000 before and the same word Muhammad himself he said so where is the prayer it's very easy you repeat that like an answering machine you are not praying you do a certain movement certain words and this is called they call it a prayer so there is no effort you do it's just acting secondly everything in Islam is easy you know Christ he said if you wish to have a woman she is not yours you committed adultery imagine how hard that will be for any human being in Islam Muhammad himself, he wished his own son wife. He had a sexual desire for her when she was married. And in Islam, this is not adultery. And even Allah was saying to him, why you are hiding your uh, sexual desire to your own son wife? Allah himself encouraging him to have a sexual desire for a married woman. How easy things can be more than this. When a man, he came to Muhammad and he told him, I have a woman she came to my store I told her go inside the store and I have better fruits and I did with her everything the man he do except intercourse what the Prophet he said don't worry about it this is called a lemon it's a small sin no problem she is married and the Prophet he said maybe her husband he is in a war for jihad imagine the husband he's fighting for the Prophet and the woman she is having sex with a stranger letting him kissing her all over touching her all over until he finished with her without having intercourse remember and the prophet saying it's okay no problem Allah forgive you brother how easy religion can be more than this and then they will say to you not everything easy it's mean it's right well I agree because there is no easy as Islam you do all the filth you want in your life and then you go and you walk around the Kaaba and you kiss the black stone and black, the black stone will suck your sin. How easy things can be. The detergent of Allah is exist in the black stone. And according to the Prophet, the black stone used to be white and turn black because always it does suck the Muslim sin when they kiss it. How easy things can be more than this. If you have a problem, if you are getting horny, in Islam you can go to a woman, you say to her, I want to have you for half hour, how much you want? She says seven dollars. She agree, you agree for the period, the time, and the money. According to Islam, this is halal. Halal. You take her to the bedroom for 30 minutes, bang, bang, bang. When you are done, you give her the money. And when the time is up, she is free to go, and you are free to go. You do not need even to know her name. How easy things can be more than Islam. You do everything filthy, and you will never feel bad, because everything is legalized. You know, the Muslims, they say to us, we are against adultery, but in the fact, there is no adultery in Islam. Because Muhammad, he gave the word adultery different name he call it marriage you can abuse and use all the women you have you can have 100,000 slaves and you have sex with them all you can rent women for sex as we explained in chapter 4 verse 24 you can do whatever you want and after all you are a good guy and not only that even when you go to heaven, Allah will give you 72 horny women and 300 boys. How easy things can be more than this. To make you believe that abusing and enslaving a human being like you, women and 300 boys, 72 women, 300 boys, are, they are sex slaves for you. 
and you are feeling comfortable about it how easy things can be more than this you know if I have a if I have a slave honestly I will not be happy to have a slave but Allah will make you believe that enslaving them forever ever remember this is not for a period of time forever it's a gift don't worry it is Allah order let us continue actually time is up we will continue with part number two follow with me please Christ is Lord Islam is false Amin